On June 16, 2005, around 9.15 a.m., cleaner Murugan Kanyapan was going about his daily rounds when he spotted a waterlogged, round cardboard box sealed with a masking tape on the banks of Kalang River, a popular spot for sea sports enthusiasts. Curious, the 27-year-old tried to pick up the parcel to throw it away, but the water damage was too severe. The box fell apart in his hands, revealing its contents. A green plastic bag containing what looked like fresh meat. He used a twig to pull apart the loosely knotted bag. That was when I saw the lower half of a woman's body. The flesh looked very fresh, like she was not dead. There was no blood and no smell. I could see the bone and the knee was very white. The naked body had been chopped up at the pelvis and knee joints. Soon after, the police found a red and white box 300 meters downstream on the opposite bank. In it was another green plastic bag. It contained the upper torso of a woman's body. The arms and hands were intact. The decapitated head, however, was missing. A massive search was conducted for the other missing parts, including the woman's feet. Two days later, a decomposed head, wrapped in newspaper and stuffed into a yellow plastic bag labelled Art Friend, were found at Tuas Incinerator Plant. The bags have been picked up from Singapore River and brought to the plant by garbage collectors. After the first of the shocking finds, police combat fingerprints to a database of foreign workers and discovered the body of that to be Liu Hong Mace. There was also a missing report lodged by her colleagues in the system. That very night, police went to Agar Systems where she worked and questioned Liu Xiu Cho, who was her lover in the same company. He appeared nervous, he stammered and his hands trembled. Police soon pieced together how the gruesome murder happened. On June 13, 2005, the couple had gone to Hotel 81 at Geylang Lorong 20. Leong stole her POSB ATM card from her bag while she was in the shower after having he used it to make withdrawals and to buy items. He took out most of her savings, over $2,000. The next day, Miss Liu made a report about her missing ATM card. That evening, she told Leong about the report and how she was advised that she could look at the CCTV footage to see if she could identify the thief. On June 15, 2005, he brought her back to his flat in Block 114, Geylang Lorong 3 and strangled her. Using a chopper and a rubber mallet, he cut her into 7 pieces, 2 feet, 2 legs above the knee, lower torso, upper torso and head. Her upper torso also had an open wound on the left shoulder. Her stomach and decomposed organs were exposed. He dumped the parts in different parts of Singapore. He threw her feet and clothes in the rubbish bins at Ubi Road after cycling there. Her handbag went to a bin outside Amokyo MRT station on his way to work. The parts he had thrown into the Kalang River proved his undoing. They surfaced and drifted to the banks. When the police did a sweep on his place, they found a masking tape with strands of hair a chopper, a stack of Chinese newspapers, and green plastic bags. Traces of blood were discovered on three pills, on the kitchen toilet wall, and on the back of the toilet bowl. The sides of a lift in the block also had blood stains. Leong claimed that they had made a suicide pact, and then chickened out because of the look on her face when he strangled her. His words was quickly ruled out as rubbish claims. A lively young woman in the vernal stage of her life, who was doing well in her job, was keen to forward her studies and looking forward to attending her sister's wedding had no reason to want to end her life. On May 19, 2006, Leong Shu Chao was sentenced to death.